As we continue to pump water off the Ogallala Aquifer in order to farm, we are depleting that limited resource. In order to remain profitable, we're going to have to look for ways of getting by without that. Traditionally, guys have looked at either, say, cotton or milo as a means of dry land. But what if we look at ways in regards to making corn more economically viable in a dry land opportunity? In this plot, we have both DeKalb as well as Syngenta's best dry land drought tolerant genetics. And it'll be exciting to see what the yields are next week. Looking at overall, yeah, guys have tried dry land in different capacities over the years, but few would push into no-till the direction I feel that we need to be going. In this case, we just went in and no-tilled right into a dry land corner that had grass on it, applied two herbicide applications, no fertilizer other than the 10 gallons through furrow jet that was on the planter. But I don't know that no-till alone is going to be enough to carry us for where we need to go. So we will be trying to implement different means of finding the most water efficient to biomass cover crops available in order to increase the amount of residue on the surface so that we can hold what moisture we do have and use it to the absolute maximum efficiency that we can. Until next time, make it a blessed day.